This video was created using AI. With just a few clicks, the right prompt, and some powerful free AI tools, you can create this AI videos. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to create your own tactical military video from scratch. In this video, I will show you exactly how to create a smooth camera movements that orbit around your character, zoom in on their face, or follow them through water like a real movie shot. You'll also learn how to write better prompts. And trust me, prompts are everything. If you want cinematic results, your prompt has to be sharp and specific. I'll walk you through the best ones. And here's the best part. I've taken a full three hour tutorial and cut it down to just eight minutes. Only the parts you actually need. Every second in this video matters. Don't skip anything. It all builds up to the final result. Let's get started. Step one, let's begin by searching for Dreamina by CapCut. I've already provided a direct link in the description below, so you don't have to search manually. Just click it and it will take you directly to the tool. For those of you who are using Dreamina for the first time, let me give you a quick overview of what you'll see on the new updated dashboard. The main page has three key sections. The first one is AI image. This is where we'll generate our tactical military image using a written prompt. This is the starting point of the entire project. The second tab is AI video, which allows you to animate the image we just created using camera movements and scene dynamics. Now back to AI image. This is where you paste the prompt that will generate your soldier scene. To get the best results, make sure to select image 3.0 from the model dropdown and change the quality setting to 2K quality. These two options make a huge difference in detail and sharpness. Be sure to choose the right aspect ratio. For YouTube videos, 16.9 is a good default, but if you're making a reel or a short, you might want 916. Choose the one that fits your project best. Once that's done, paste in your prompt. You can copy and paste the exact prompt I used from the video description. I've included it there to save you time. Then go ahead and hit generate. In a few seconds, your AI generated soldier image will appear fully rendered and ready for animation. Disclaimer, please use this knowledge responsibly. These AI tools are powerful and how you use them matters. Always create with purpose and avoid using this technology in ways that could mislead others. The image results look amazing. Let's go through them together. As you can see, the images are incredibly photorealistic. The lighting, the shadows, the detail on the gear, everything looks like it was taken straight from a professional film set. This is full HD quality with sharp textures and cinematic atmosphere. Honestly, it's hard to believe these were made with AI and not a real photo shoot. I'm scrolling through the four images we generated and every one of them looks production ready. Now let's move on and create the video. Before we generate it, here's a quick overview of the extra options available. If you want, you can make small edits to the image using the canvas editor, or take advantage of features like upscaling, in-painting, retouching, or expanding the scene. These are great tools for fine tuning, but we won't go too deep into them today. Let's get back to video generation. Go ahead and click generate video. And once the interface loads, you'll see a space to paste your prompt. You'll also notice that the image reference we just created is already locked in. That's the one we'll be animating. Now let's adjust the video settings. Make sure to select video 3.0 for better quality and more realistic results. The aspect ratio is automatically pulled from the image you used. So no need to adjust that unless you want something specific. Next, change the duration of the video from 5 seconds to 10 seconds. This gives the camera movement more room to breathe and helps the final result feel smoother and more cinematic. Now paste your prompt, I've included it in the video description for you to copy. Again, I highly recommend using video 3.0. It delivers much more natural lighting, movement and detail compared to earlier versions. And then hit generate. Give it a moment and the AI will start building your video. Two hours later. The lighting is balanced, the soldier looks clear and focused, and the background blends nicely. Everything renders smoothly, and it holds up well even at full screen. Video 2 looks great. The overall quality is really sharp. High resolution, clean textures, and solid detail on the gear and uniform. It feels polished and consistent with the image we started from. Video 4 quality is high, no weird glitches, clean outlines, and the atmosphere matches perfectly with the original image. For this image, let's create a video using Video S2 instead of Video 3.0, just to compare the results and see the difference. The process is exactly the same. Select the image, paste your prompt, and generate the video. Just keep in mind that S2 has a default duration limit of 5 seconds, so we won't be able to stretch it to 10 like we did with 3.0. 
let's go ahead and generate it. Now that we've generated the video using S2 Pro, you can already notice the difference in quality compared to video 3.0. The overall video from S2 doesn't look as clean. The details in the gear have a few glitches and the movement feels a bit off or unrealistic in some parts. It's not terrible, but definitely not on the same level as 3.0. If you're aiming for that high-end cinematic result, I recommend sticking with video 3.0 whenever possible. Now, let's move on to creating camera movements. We'll follow the same process as before, but this time we'll be using prompts that include camera movement instructions. These prompts are slightly enhanced to tell the AI how we want the camera to behave, whether it's pushing in, orbiting, zooming, or tracking across the scene. In this part of the video, I'll be repeating a few of the steps we've already covered, like setting the duration, choosing the correct aspect ratio, and selecting video 3.0 for the best possible quality. So if you've been following along, the setup will feel familiar. But now, the real magic happens through the prompt itself. Let's go ahead and paste in our first cinematic prompt with camera movement and generate the video. In this shot, the camera starts with a tight close-up on the soldier's face. You can see the intensity in his eyes as he focuses ahead. Then, the camera slowly pulls back, revealing the full scene behind him, including his teammates in the background, standing alert. Now let's apply a zoom-style camera movement on the next image. This type of camera movement adds a slow, dramatic zoom effect that builds tension as it focuses closer on the soldier's expression. It gives the scene a more immersive and intense feeling, almost like we're creeping into the moment with him. Now let's go ahead and animate the next image, this time using a different prompt. Once it's done generating, we'll take a look at the results and compare how it turned out. For this last clip, we're using a side-to-side -side dolly movement. This movement gently shifts the camera from left to right, keeping the soldier locked in the center of the frame. It's a simple but powerful technique that creates a feeling of realism, almost like the camera operator is slowly tracking the environment without interrupting the scene. That's it. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with someone who might find it useful too. It really helps support the channel and lets me keep making more tutorials like this. Now, let's check out all the videos we created back to back and see how each one turned out.